Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And on today's video, I got something real special. We're gonna be making healthy plant based with un with unrefined sugars, unrefined ingredients. We're gonna make I'm gonna make this recipe great that suits you for your New Year's resolutions so you can stay nice and healthy. I can join you as well. I love making pancakes and I know I definitely know how to make healthy pancakes now a days I learned how to make them so I want to show you how to make the healthiest pancakes that you can ever make they're super easy to make and they're very enjoyable today's pancake recipe is gonna be bananas and chocolate pancakes ooh and I can't wait to enjoy these with you so let's show you how to make them these pancakes are so easy to make I always love making these pancakes this recipe has minimal ingredients. It's probably one of the most easiest recipe that you can do. And there are a few things that you can change if you don't like them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start with my flours. Into a bowl, we're going to add whole wheat flour. I'm going to be using whole wheat flour for this recipe. I tend to use whole wheat flour for all my recipes, but you can use buckwheat flour or oat flour if you're gluten free. But I'm not gluten free, I'm not diabetic, or I don't have any heart issues, and I don't have any food allergies. So whole wheat flour is pretty good for me. The next thing that I'm going to add is a combination of ingredients here. I have one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of coconut sugar, but you can use dates sugar. And then I also have two tablespoons of cornmeal. If you don't have cornmeal or you're allergic to corn, you can use flax meal. So we're gonna add that to the bowl. We're gonna whisk the flowers. And I love this recipe because it's very versatile. I've done many, many recipes, many different versions of this recipe. Okay giving it a good stir because coconut sugar tends to ball up then we'll add our soy milk I have one cup of soy milk and a tablespoon of vinegar you don't have to add the table the tablespoon of vinegar if you don't have it I just want to use it today I normally don't use it we'll add the liquid in and we'll stir it together And there's our batter so I have here my batter and I allowed it to rest for a little bit and it got a little thicker so that's perfect I have here some dark chocolate chips unsweetened and I have a banana and I'm just gonna peel it and slice it I want the slices to be very thin as thin as I can I want to add two scoops of my batter to each pancake. And this is probably going to make only about four, three big pancakes. And I don't like to make that much unless I'm batch making. So we're going to add three at the moment. And we're going to just insert a few a few chocolate chips with the pancake mix if you don't want to dirty your fingers you can use tweezers okay. and we'll see if we can cover them that would be fantastic And we need to hurry, so let's do that to all of them. And you could do smaller chocolate chips. <laughs> I just want to make big ones. Okay. Okay. So now we add our bananas. chocolate and banana pancakes now 
the bananas, I would like to cover them, but I'm impatient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them and I'm going to allow them to caramelize. But I want to cover the chocolate. So the chocolate is somewhat protected by the batter. So we mash it in and just twirl the batter on top. That way we get some good chunks. Alright, I think it's about time to flip our pancakes. And I put up the heat a little bit just to make sure it's good. And we flip it. And we give it a flip. And this, since it looks all scrambled, we can push it back. But you can, you, you need to do it before it gets solid. Okay? So you guys do it as a batter. Okay. There you go. Look at those pretty pancakes. Alright. And then, give this one a nice flip. And then we separate it. We can separate it now. If we got too close together. It's a much more stable batter at the moment because it's already solid from the top and the sides. So more, it's more stable now. It won't splatter around. I can move my spatula around the pancake. And that way I can make it more circular. Oh wow, look at that chocolate. And I hope it doesn't smudge all over. <laughs> wow, these are going to be really delicious. And I'm so happy that I get to share this recipe with you guys. And isn't it fantastic that it's whole food plant-based. It's It has no refined sugars. And it's not going to break your diet. Right? Isn't it perfect? <laughs> I think it's perfect too. All right. So... We've got to finish these pancakes, and we're going to allow them to cook and completely cook down. They're still moist. I can feel them. I'm going to lower the temperature down and allow it to cook from the inside. Okay? So I'll meet you back when I serve it up. All right, that's the recipe. Chocolate banana pancakes. Oh my goodness, these are delicious. They are super good. We're going to add some maple syrup, because I love to add some maple. But you can also add date syrup. I have date syrup as well, but I love my pancakes with maple syrup. It is my just preferred. And as you can see, these look so delicious. They're chocolatey. Mm. And they're with banana. It's everyone's weakness, but it's very healthy. Like, it's dark chocolate. The bananas with the dark chocolate definitely go well. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are very delicious. They're also diabetic friendly. They're heart disease friendly so they're amazing pancakes very delicious they're also great for weight loss and great for you to continue your goal and stay healthy that was delicious but anyways thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me again 
on another video of Let Us Cook with me, Annie. And if you are looking for more plant-based recipes, you're looking for a plant-based community, vegan community, I am here to help. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.